My next guest has got a big fight coming up here against Tracy Cortez, UFC Fight Night, September 16th. We're less than a month away. It is Jasmine Jasavidius back here on the program. Jasmine, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing awesome, but I'm not I'm not going to be fighting Tracy Cortez. Uh, just first tell me how excited you were to get this fight because she's a pretty big name in the division. Yeah, you know, she's a huge name. I was super happy to uh, get this fight. You know, I you never know. I just got, like, put at 15, so I didn't know if they were going to make me kind of, like, fight somebody unranked and kind of, like, hold that spot or what. But, um, but yeah, they, they gave me her, and uh, I'm super excited. It's at Mexican Independence Day, and uh, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Yeah, it's going to be a cool card. Uh, and that, that's the other kind of neat part about this. Valentina's headlining the card, Alexa Grasso. So your division is going to be the title fight. And also you got uh, Lupi Godinez on the card as well, who I know you are familiar with. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome to see her like on that card. Uh, Kyle Monson Nelson also got on the card. That's right, yep. Yeah, so, you know, it's great to... Uh, to see like the the fellow fellow fighters that you're friends with like it's awesome seeing them on fight week and then watching them be able to like perform it's sick yeah and uh you're coming off a big win of course we were there uh, i still got to see you fight live that was awesome the the win over uh, miranda maverick um and and obviously that win has aged quite well considering what miranda did in her last fight which was uh, super impressive um you know with that said like were you kind of expecting this fight because um you know miranda was a very big win for you tracy's you know sort of considered one of the the big names in the division was this a fight you were expecting uh, it wasn't really a fight I was expecting. I mean, that being said, I wasn't expecting any fight. So um, I, uh, I kind of, I it once they gave it to me, then I was like, okay, perfect. Like I, I don't really look too far ahead. I let the coaches do all that, do all the picking and everything. So I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, totally, totally. And you were telling me off air, uh, you did decided to do camp uh, back in Ontario this time. Uh, any particular reason for that? Or just, uh, I mean, it is nice in the summer in Ontario too, right? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, like I've traveled a lot and I have like great partners at home. My coaches are like super dedicated. Uh, I got out to Vegas uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was like prior to camp. And so oh, I cool. feel like I... I, I got out there and like got some looks and got to enjoy myself, enjoy like the time at the PI. And uh, so it was nice to, to get back and like do camp with my team and with all the guys. Like I've, I've got a ton of girls here that are like traveling down to help me out every, nice. it, it's like, it's just working out so well. So it made sense to stay back. Did you get to do, I imagine you got to do some training in Vegas as well. Did you go to any of the gyms there or was it just training at the PI? Uh, no, I did a bit of training at the PI, but also at Syndicate. I, I oh, cool. uh, have a great relationship with them there. And like, I got privates in with like Mike Pyle too. Uh, so that was sick. It's always, I had him in my corner for my uh, contender series fight. Yep. And, uh, and so it was awesome to like go back and like, he's just a wealth of knowledge. And yeah. Uh, I get so so it was great to like spend some time with them and just pick up some tricks and uh it, yeah I, I when I go to Vegas it's a it's always an amazing time like the people out there are awesome and uh it's nice it's a great trip <laughs> It is. Yeah, I go. I love covering events there. And for me, as you know, it's only like two and a bit hours. Uh, it's definitely a fun place to uh, to be even when, you know, not doing work, too. It's a it's a it's a good time. Uh, you talked a little bit about uh, at home, uh, bringing some bodies in to help uh, tra you train for this fight. Uh, who are some of the names? Uh, I mean, even if they're not common names, like I'm sure their names are going to be hearing about, too. Right. Yeah. So there's a couple of girls. We got a girl named Anna that's uh, coming down. And then we got um, Tanya is here. The jar, I don't know. Just, no, no worries, no worries. We'll look it up after. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know how to pronounce all their last names, but like solid work with like Ashley Nichols. She's yeah, I know Ashley. Yeah. A lot. yeah, and um, and then a lot with like the guys, you know, Cody and Tisha, all the all the main guys. It was nice. Josh Hill was getting ready for a fight, so yep. uh, you know, every once in a while, I got to do a round with him, and uh, so I'm getting, I'm getting some great work in down here with them. And weight cuts going well. Again, a lot better than 115. Oh my goodness! 
I get so much better. Oh, I'd be, yeah. I would already be like hard dieting at this point, but now it's nice. It's like I've cut out the treats, but I'm still like eating good. I'm fueled up for all my sessions, but uh, I don't miss fighting at 115. That's for sure. No, that's good. And uh, you mentioned uh, your corner a bit there. Uh, so who will be making the trip to Vegas with you? Will Mike Powell be covering you in this fight or that was just you trained with him? Uh, I just trained with him, but yeah, this one's the 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 OGs, Chris, Jelly, and D Marks. Nice, Jelly's still there. I love Jelly, man. That guy's yeah. uh, the the nomad. Jelly's pretty much living, like he's living here. You now. say that he, now, though. Wait, wait a year, he'll uh, he'll go move somewhere. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I hope uh, he stays. He's, he's Canadian, him. right? Yeah, yeah. You think I you think, got him for good? I think we do. I think we got him for good. Like. This is the most like roots that he's put in, you know, like he's got a spot. He's got a girlfriend. Uh, OK, well, the girlfriend's a big thing, right? That's going to be hard to leave that unless the girlfriend wants to go with him. But I thought he was staying in Vegas forever. Honestly, it seemed like that for a while. And then then now now he's out here. So that's great. Yeah, I thought he was, too. But we snatched him up and we're not there letting go. him go. <laughs> well, you know what, honestly, and, and not to go too much off on this, but I, I really think your team is like the talk of MMA right now in Canada. Like I hear so many fighters training there now, and it just seems like what TriStar used to be is kind of what your gym has been now that everyone wants to go there and train and, you know, shout out to, you know, Chris and, and Matt and so many of the other coaches over there. Like, I think you guys have really set a good structure there that people want to come and flock to your gym. That That's exactly it. It's like, we've got a little bit of a hotbed going on right now and it's nice because it's like Canadians are just, they're good people. So they want to help each other out. Like yeah. when Mike's fighting, the guys are coming down to help him. When I'm fighting, girls are coming down to help me. They're, they're traveling down here to help me. And, and it's like, you know, it just, it's like a, a snowball, right? The more that come, then the more other people that come and it's uh we got a hotbed right now and we're taking advantage of it. Like look at Aaron Jeffries, what? Right? He, he looked great last weekend. That yeah, was no. a big win for him, too, because Dalton, everyone I've talked to, and I've even watched him, I saw him fight live in um, Tacoma last year for Bellator. Uh, everyone's, you know, really, really high on him. That was, I don't think people know how big of a win that was for Aaron. That was a huge win for him. Seriously. And, like, the guy has dealt with adversity, and, like, look at him now. It looks like he's unstoppable. Yeah, and still rocking that mullet really well too. I gotta say, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing. Cause Tanner Bozer's got a mullet too, so it seems like they're both uh, they're both uh, winning with with the mullets these days, which is great. Um, just last thing on Tracy, um, like, do you think do you do you believe in cage rust? Like, she hasn't fought in a while. She obviously, I know, had some things going outside the cage. You don't need to get into that, but um, do you, do you believe in cage rust? Do you think being active is important in in a fighter's career? I mean, I think everyone's different. Mm -hmm. I uh, I like to stay active. Not because I believe in cage rush, just because I'm I'm older. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to get that belt, you know. But for her, she kind of only fights once a year, anyways. Yeah, so that's true. Okay. I I don't think there'll there'll be anything like that, you know. It, everyone competes different, but I I don't imagine that ring rust will be a thing for her. How's this fight playing out on September sixteenth? Fight's playing out with my hand raised. Do you know that? For sure. But how do, how do you see it unfolding? Like, do you think Tracy is tough? Like she even has a, a win that was, you know, very close with Aaron Blanchfield, which obviously we've seen what Aaron's done in the division. Like she's extremely tough to take out. I'm sure you're expecting maybe more of a war as opposed to a finish just because, um, you know, both of you are pretty durable. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's what we're training for a three round hard decision. And I, I mean, ideally I, I, put her out I, I beat her up in the first 30 seconds I finish her you know that's the ideal situation but you know we're we're preparing that that it's going to be a dog fight it's going to be a long one she's tough you know she only she only does fight once a year so she's going to put everything into it you know what I mean and yeah. uh so so I I'm looking forward to, to it I I think that uh she might be underestimating me a bit just I, I think everyone kind of is underestimating me a, a little bit just because I am new kind of to the the scene a, a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I I think I, I am being a little bit underestimated. But, you know, I'm looking forward to getting in there on fight night and, uh, you know, us scrapping and showing what's up.
Well, I think you will be underestimated because if I had to take a guess, just because of what Tracy's done and sort of her run, I would imagine she's going to be the betting favorite here. And you were the underdog in your last fight and proved a lot of people wrong there, right? Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. You know, like just continue to uh, work hard, keep my nose down and, and work hard and uh, hopefully the fruits of my labor show. Main event, I mentioned it there, Valentina Grasso. Does Valentina get her title back or do you think Grasso retains? What do you think? I, I think Valentina is going to get it back, but honestly, I could see it being like a dog fight. I could see it being being a lot more challenging than kind of people anticipate that it will be. But who knows? It's MMA. You never know. Like I mentioned there, you got the big win over Miranda. You get a win over Tracy Cortez. Like that's got to propel you up the division a little bit and kind of get you in that conversation of, you know, sort of moving towards that contender status. You kind of feel the same way just with everything, like just knowing her as an opponent and what people have thought of her. Do you feel like a win here could really propel you up the, the rankings? I a hundred percent. I agree. I, I, I believe if I, if I show well and say, I do finish her, she's undefeated, you know, say I finish her. I feel like, that that really throws me up into the mix of things and uh like my name's in those conversations so that's where i'm headed and we're looking forward to it it is ufc fight night september 16th jasmine thanks so much for doing this always appreciate the time if there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here any sponsors any social media want to mention i'll give you the last word uh always thanks my coaches training partners and uh you know, oh, we're doing these uh, vlogs on like fight week and leading up and stuff like that, that are a lot of fun, you know, check it out, like behind the scenes stuff, get to know me a little bit more. So check, I think it's uh, vicious vlogs. Yes, for sure. Um, Mike Goldsman produces that, I think. I know Mike does a lot of stuff with your team, right? Yeah, he helps me do all that. You know, it's like, I, Shout out to Mike. I don't know how to do the editing and all that. And, and he, he's a wizard. He's one of the best in the industry. I, I just I wanted to throw that out there because I know Mike, uh, a lot of people don't know who he is, but check out his stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, he's doing great stuff with Mike and yourself. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So.